Okay, this is um, part two. Um, we're using one pulse width modulation line, and that's uh, on pin three of the Arduino, connected to N1 on the motor controller. Uh, I've moved my uh, N2 back to pin four. There's no pulse width modulation on this at all. I will still be able to have uh, direction and speed control um, using a slightly different method here. Um, so basically this is what's called inverted logic here. And um, when I would need the motor to spin in one direction, it works pretty much the same way as the previous demo where I'm putting pulse width modulation on pin 3 um, that's driving it high um, and pin 4 would be driven low and uh, that causes it to spin in one direction so to, to get it to spin in the opposite direction I uh, put pin 4 high but now I take the maximum uh, pulse width modulation speed and subtract it from another speed um, and that will cause pin 3 to actually act like it's going lower so that will cause it to spin at a speed in the opposite direction um, it's called inverted logic and uh, it works really well and I'm only using one pulse width modulation pin for this so, oh, I gotta hold the right thing hold the right thing so you can see the, the motors moving in this direction it should be slowing down now it's going to move in the opposite direction and it should speed up And this is just minor changes inside the program itself. Um, so now it's going as fast as it can go and it's slowing down in this direction. And that was mostly done just to show a difference. I could make it do the same thing. Um, so that's inverted logic, that's part two.